Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us for our last concert of the 2020 Summerfest season. We're really happy that you could join us today for this work from our 2018 season, Alyssa Morris's Brush Strokes. Each movement of this short four movement work is based on a painter and more specifically about how that painter worked and, and the brush strokes that each of them took to make their paintings. So I will turn this over now to Melissa Pena, who will talk to you a little bit about the first movement. Hi everyone, I miss engaging with these phenomenal musicians in person and I really, really miss engaging with and interacting with the Summerfest audience that's, that is a, a part of our performance tradition here. And I, re I really miss seeing you all and interacting in person, but this will do as a close second. So the uh, first movement, in my memory of performing this piece is, is that each of the movements um, really did capture the, the character of either the artist or, or their work style. Um, really well, really effectively. And the first movement, Monet, um, has a lot of very fluid, shimmery colors, a lot of motion in the, in the particularly in the flute line. Shannon, you get to do a lot of uh, watery flute music. <laughs> um, and it had, uh, it, I think that one of the things that I remember being struck by is how, um, how well blended the sounds were in this movement and how that um, mimicked Monet's, um, the soft edges to the brush strokes that you see in Monet's work. I feel like that was sort of a sonic representation, the way we, the way we seamlessly wove in and out of each other's sounds in that, in that movement and really played with, uh, with unique blends, unique uh, combinations of, of sounds. That's the first movement. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I sure wish I could see you all. Our audience members, you know, from our receptions have become like our friends. So we definitely miss performing for you. We miss talking to you and having a drink and a bite to eat with you. Um, I also miss, like Melissa, I miss playing with my colleagues. And in fact, for me, this piece brings back great memories because Melissa actually stays at my house when she's here. We're great friends. And Josh and I always go to dinner. We have long talks. And so those are some of the memories that I bring to this piece. The second movement, Surratt, of course, he was a pointillist painter. And so there are lots of short, short notes to represent the individual dots in his painting. But when you put them all together, of course, they make the whole. Um, one thing that I remember about this movement also is that I happen to love to play the piccolo. And I actually got to play the piccolo at one point in this movement. So that was fun for me. And I think uh, it was the right instrument to capture those very short notes that connect with everybody. The other interesting thing when I'm listening to this piece is that it isn't a constant stream of notes, just like there is space in the painting where there aren't dots, right? There are rests that give texture to the music. So I hope that you all enjoy the second movement and then the whole piece. And I look forward to seeing everybody next year. Hi, Summerfest family. Uh, if I can reach through the screen and, and hug everybody, I would, because I really do miss seeing my Kansas City family there. You all have become so precious to me, so through the years. Um, but I also get the pleasure of talking about this next movement. So uh, next movement is Van Gogh. And uh, he is someone who uh, is a man of deep emotions, of deep passions, uh, but obviously suffered tremendously. Uh, and, and I think this movement does a great job of, de of depicting the deep emotions that he had. And there's, and it's been depicted that this was a bit of a tango uh, and that we get to express that. And as a bassoonist, we don't always get a chance to be a part of a tango. So it was a really uh, fun thing to do with my colleagues and to see how we put that together and to figure out what does a bassoon have to say about uh, Van Gogh. And, and it was just beautiful. And at one point in the middle of this movement, actually, there's a nice solo where the bassoon gets a chance to really sing and, and really express from, from deep uh, within about how, uh, what's going on in his heart. So uh, I love this movement. I love this piece and it was very colorful and, uh, and I miss being able to be able to share it with you all directly, but I look forward to when we get a chance to do it together next year, so. The final movement is called Pollock after the American painter Jackson Pollock who had a, a very interesting style. He would drip or um, splash paint onto the canvas. And one of the things he would do would be to lie the canvas down on the floor. And then he called it action painting because there was the, the arm motion while he was doing this, this moving of, of the paint around the canvas. And so this last movement has a lot of um, 
active moments in it because um, she's sort of imagining Jackson Pollock moving around that canvas and doing things to the painting, which is a, a kind of a fun way to end the piece. Uh, we're so sorry to have missed seeing all of you this summer, but we really look forward to seeing you next summer, we all hope, and we hope you enjoy this, this work from our 2018 season, Alyssa Morris's Brushstrokes. Thanks so much. Thank you. 